Apologies for the previous two attempts. Um, when one thing goes wrong, another thing goes wrong. I do have a tendency to uh, talk really quick and try and get everything done as quick as it can be, which isn't good. So third and final attempt, which hopefully this will be better. Nice and slow, no matter how long it takes, so you can understand me. Right, let's get cracking again. Now, in Video Profile Inspector, what it basically does is tweaks anti-aliasing. As you know, in ATS and ETS2, it is pretty bad. This is going to fix a lot of it. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was without. Just keep in mind, if your resolution is 1366 by 768, 1440 by 900, 1600 by 900 or 1680 by 1050 you won't get AA applied because it's possibly hard coded at 1440 by 900 resolution. Now there is going to be a little bit to go through but I will go through it again um, as slowly uh, as I can really just so you can understand it. Don't use reshade with it, it will break and you'll get black anomalies on the screen. Just to download it, again the th uh, link is in the thread, make sure you choose the 20th of January 2021 at the bottom here. We're not using uh, silk smoothness or anything like that or NVIDIA Freestyle. We'll cover this bit here down below. Now if you run a single dual triple or quad monitor, whatever you run, you need a multimon config.sii file. A single, use this. For dual, use this, triple, use this, and quad, use this. Once you've downloaded it, you need to place it into your Documents folder. Go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, and here you will find, or we will place, multimon underscore config dot SII. Now we need to alter the config.cfg like you see here. So in your documents, open config.cfg. And at the top, put your cursor. So any further results are going downwards. Control and F. And the first one is going to be multimon mode. So type in mode. And press enter. And there we see multi R multimon mode should be four. Next is buffer page size. Type in buffer. As you can see, ours is 120 on buffer page size. It can be 30 up to 120, I believe is the limit, but you'll be fine with 30. If you do get problems, uh, put it to 60 and see how it goes. Next up is scale. So we type in scale. Just below we'll see R mirror scale Y. Make sure that's one. And R mirror scale X. Put that as well to one. R scale Y to one. And R scale X to one. In the box we search for SMAA. And make sure that is a zero. Next up is the menu AA limit, so we type in menu and keep on going until you find this. G menu AA limit, make it zero. Next up we have HQ 3D scale and HQ 3D screenshot. So we type in 3D. HQ 3D scale to be 0, 0.0 and HQ 3D screenshot should be just 0. Lastly in the config, SSAO in the search box, press enter and make sure SSAO is set to 0 as well. Once you're done, save that and then close out. We're done with the config.
Uh, there's some troubleshooting steps if you do get stuck. You can check those out. I'll leave a link in the description. Some videos showing the effects. Right, graphic settings in game uh, for both ATS and ETS2. Very important you follow these. Scaling has to be 100, not 80, not 120, etc. SMAA has to be disabled. Mirror quality can be medium or high only. No low, no ultra, just these two here. And mirror resolution has to be medium, nothing else. There's a few changes that you can make to the global config or add them in. Low to mid, mid to high and extreme. Got uh, quite a lot to play with there. Steam launch options is another one you will need to uh, add. As you can see here, you can copy and paste this entire row. So if we copy that, open up Steam, go to American Truck Simulator, right click and go to Properties, in Launch Options, paste it in. Sixty-four bit forces the application to run in its sixty-four bit version. No intro disables the intro uh, introduction logos. Unlimited log removes the limits for the game and crash log. MM pool size uh, is a general pool of resources memory. You need to set this as half of your total computer memory. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, set it to four thousand. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, set it to 8,000. If you have 32 gigabytes of RAM, you'd set it to 16,000 and so on. MM max resource size 32. Default is 22. It can be up to 100, but 32 is a good number. MM max temp buffer size up to 1,000. Default is 112, up to 1,000 megabytes. Hopefully this is a bit easier to follow now, I'm getting a bit slower. I've got to stop rushing things. Right, now we're on to the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So we'll check the recording, yep. There's quite a lot to go through. I'm going to open up and show you my settings so we can follow each one. Search for American Truck Simulator like that, or at the top, import and import profile and look for American Truck Simulator or whatever you've named it and open that. Won't make a difference because I've already imported it. So for ambient occlusion uh, compatibility, make sure yours is set to FIFA 14. Scroll down to the bottom here. And it should be right at the top. Anti-aliasing compatibility, DX1X. You will not find this in the drop down. You need to type it in manually. So for this one, you type in 0x8000000 capital A 7 capital F. Frame rate limiter is set to off. Maximum pre rendered frames should be 3. I don't know why it's not. Scroll down a little bit. Anti-aliasing line gamma should be set to enabled. Anti-aliasing mode can be override any application setting or enhance the application setting, whichever one you prefer. Anti-aliasing setting should be four times, four times multi-sampling. Anti-aliasing transparency super sampling should be four times sparse grid super sampling. Not two, not eight. Make it four times sparse grid super sampling. Scroll down a little bit and we'll have anisotropic filtering mode. Set that to user defined forward slash off. 
and anisotropic filtering setting should be 16 because that's the one we're defining the setting as. Texture filtering, driver controlled, LOD or LO, uh, level of detail, BIOS should be set to off. And LOD BIOS DX should be set to negative 1.5, which gives us eight times anti-aliasing at that setting. Negative LOD BIOS should be set to allow. Texture filtering set to quality. Ambient occlusion setting should be set to high quality. And ambient occlusion usage should be set to disabled. Come down a little bit. And you'll see memory allocation policy. Look for WKS memory allocation policy aggressive free allocation should end in 0 2 not this one the memory policy aggressive free allocation third one from the top once you've done that click apply and minimize or close either or once you've done that you should see the differences i am going to do a quick before and a quick after in the game menu so you can see the difference for yourself and fingers crossed the third attempt on this video should be done the right resolution, I'm going a bit slower. Uh, any future videos where I talk will be a lot slower than before, so you can make sense of what I'm saying because I do have a problem with speaking, which is a pain. Something I've had to live with for 31 years of my life, so it's pretty difficult, but I make do with what I can. I'll see you in a second. This is without the NVIDIA profile inspector applied, as well as the um, incorrect graphic settings. So you really should be able to tell the difference immediately. Well, this is before, and then you'll see after, and you'll see the change around the door, etc. Window frame. And on the grill here, very bad. And now let's look at after the changes. This is uh, with the um, NVIDIA Profile Inspector uh, uh, fixes applied. As you'll be noticing it mostly on the grill, the step, the doors, and the exhaust if your truck has one at the back. Let's get the camera pan around for a few shots. As you can see, the front grill, pretty damn smooth. As well as the mirrors air vents etc and along the bumper so hopefully you'll be able to see the changes pretty well and look forward to trying it in game and i'll see you next week take care